Lynn had this huge file cabinet in her office and the top drawer was labeled works in progress and it's a bigger drawer than any of us could have that would be labeled works in progress right mine is a (laughs) file folder (laughs) um and so in the middle of the drawer there's a tab that says the question and i had been working in the lab already for several years before she showed me that particular and i'd filed stuff in that drawer and she showed me that tab i don't think she was keeping it for me i just don't know that it came up um and she looked at me and she said you know what the question is don't you awesome. there and she has so many interests you know any given summer in the lab there'd be several different projects that were different from the projects before or some continuing mm-hmm. and um it's so interesting to me that she's m- best known for the gaia hypothesis and her work with microbes so from like literally the tiniest things to to the largest. <laughs> to the largest. <laughs> um, so I sort of hemmed and hawed on the question, and she said it's the origin of eukaryotic cells. So for her, that was like her life's work, the question. Um, and it's interesting to me, so the origin of eukaryotic cells, not that many people are studying that question, or if they're studying it, they're studying it in little bits and pieces. It's interesting to me um, how provocative her work has been, if that's her question. Why are her ideas um, igniting so much controversy when she's asking questions about something that happened billions of years ago? And, and I think that um, I think symbiosis is radical in a whole lot of ways. It's radical scientifically. Um, I think for uh, perhaps in the United States particularly, it's radical culturally and politically. 